It's your voice, your vote. Two candidates are looking to replace current county commissioner Carl Robinson, who represents Precinct 4. Democrat Sergio Coronado will face off with Republican Blanca Trout for that Precinct 4 County Commission seat. Now, ABC7 invited both candidates to talk about their vision as county leaders should they win the race. Both agreed to talk to us, but just one day before our scheduled taping, Trout backed out. Joining us to talk about several issues facing the county is Sergio Coronado. Thank you so much for taking time to talk to us. Thank you, sir. We really appreciate uh, you and Channel 7 for uh, giving us the time to talk to the voters about this very important county position. Well, let's start off by talking about property taxes. As you well know, it's an issue countywide that a lot of uh, residents are talking about, their property taxes. Your plan, uh, do you think they're high? Do you want to bring them down? What do you plan to do? Well, you know, the, the important thing about our property taxes, people are concerned, our, our residents are concerned about their property taxes. The thing that we need to do is make sure that, uh, one, uh, to keep the taxes low as we make sure that every uh, single department and agency and county government is running efficiently and apart from that whenever there's there's needs in the county for certain things or infrastructure and investment we just need to make sure that we make smart decisions about that so that uh, we can obviously get the the best possible rates if we're going to do funding uh, for these needs so it's just a matter of making sure that our county government has the resources necessary to operate that they're operating efficiently, and that we make smart decisions about the investments we need uh, for our county government. There, you know, those people uh, require services, so there's a fine line that you have between trying to keep taxes down when there's a lot of needs in the community. Uh, people want their roads fixed. Uh, they want us to deal with their flooding. Uh, we have health care needs. And so those issues are, are very important to the county, so we need to do a good job and make sure that we make uh, sound decisions when it comes to those investments, okay. uh, infrastructure decisions. Okay, let's move on to the next topic. The next topic being the migrant plan in place countywide at the county level. As you well, well know, a, uh, a county uh, uh, center has opened up for migrants, and right now El Paso is going through an unprecedented surge. Your thoughts and your plans? Well, you know, obviously this, this, this is a uh, problem that the federal government, uh, it's their responsibility. But, you know, we as, as local governments, as, as citizens of this area, we also have a moral and humanitarian duty to make sure that these individuals, when they come into our country, they're applying under our laws. A lot of these individuals are going to end up being here uh, legally, permanently. And so, you know, we, we need to live up to our ideals that we're going to take care of these people. We want to make sure that they assimilate to our culture. Uh, all these people want to do is come and you know have a secure a better life for themselves and their families and they want to work hard so we need to make sure that we help them the better we treat them the better that they're going to think of our country and that they're able to involve themselves uh, in you know in civic uh, duties and responsibilities uh, in, in, into our, uh, our government and our culture and as you all know El Paso County is growing from one end of the county to another let's talk about uh, your precinct what about neighborhood growth in your area? Well, how is it expanding and how do you plan to help out some of the homeowners and neighborhoods that are growing in your, in your precinct? Well, you, you know, we do have uh, uh, quite a bit of growth in precinct four. As a matter of fact, uh, Canute Independent School District and Socorro are probably the only two uh, school districts in this whole region that uh, have an increase in student population. And so uh, there is a lot of growth out there. Uh, we need to make sure that this growth is uh, planned properly uh, we need to make sure that the county uh, makes uh, decisions when it comes to uh, builders coming in to make sure that uh, you know that uh, uh, they're making uh, uh, preparations uh, for the growth and not just that there's uh, you know come in and build right away. Uh, we need to make sure that uh, that this is smart growth that we're doing, and I think it's happening in the county, uh, at least on the west side. Uh, we need to both uh, you know northeast and west side make sure that this these developments. Uh, you know, are appropriate, uh, they're done well, and, you know, we welcome uh, the growth. Uh, you know, our, uh, our, our uh, contractors here that, uh, or our companies that build, uh, I think are responsible. We just make sure that they continue doing that uh, in a responsible manner uh, to provide for, for the growth. Is there anything that you want to do differently? Is there anything, uh, perhaps a plan that you want to bring in to make sure that we do have smart growth? Because we do know that over on the east side, which is not your precinct, by the way, but over on the east side, it just keeps growing by leaps and bounds. And a lot of times, there's no planned growth. Is that happening in your precinct? And would you do anything differently? Do you have a plan in place? You know, thankfully, we're not getting uh, the, those kinds of uh, growth. We're getting uh, uh, smart growth on the west side uh, as well as in the Northeast. But, you know, we just make, make sure that we continue that. I want to make sure that in, you know, we have uh, 
some uh, regulations in place to make sure that you know, we provide uh, infrastructure for those areas that, that have high growth. Uh, make sure that there's uh, parks available, that we have the infrastructure available for utilities and all of that. You know, some, some parts in our county, uh, we still don't have adequate uh, uh, utility service, uh, such as water and sewer. So uh, we need to make sure that the county plans for those issues. Okay. Uh, and I want to do that. All right. We're going to take a quick break. But when we come back, I'll ask Mr. Coronado his thoughts about the UMC expansion and the certificates of obligation the hospital re was requesting. Hear his response when we come back.